Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Vadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, and brethren at Great Millstone. Uh, to all the like minded brothers who are preaching the truth all around the earth, say you all, Shalom. It's your brother, Itazawan Bayaf. Now I'm going to bring a short lesson on uh, this particular topic. Uh, the elders have already gone into it. And Various other brothers have done a lesson on it, so um, I'm going to uh, likewise do a short lesson on it, okay? Um, what we have here is uh, the Biden administration, okay, asked Americans to report, potent, quote, potentially, end quote, radicalized friends and family, okay? So basically... Uh, We'll read, we'll read this article, and I'm only going to bring out a few scriptures, okay? And uh, we'll be done, but Lord willing, those that watch this uh, video, this lesson, will get something out of it. It'll be edifying to you, you know. Um, but we'll read this uh, short news article on this, okay? And what this is, basically, is just another device, okay, from Satan, all right? Um about friends and family basically turning in those who are strange to them or could particularly particularly uh, be a threat to so-called national security okay so let's uh let's get into the lesson i ain't gonna make this long and drawn out we'll read it uh Slovakia. and jump back on me and it says here, President Joe Biden or Joe Biden's administration announced their plans to create ways for Americans to report radicalized friends and family to the government in an effort to fight domestic terrorism. OK. All right. It further goes on to say we will work to improve public awareness of federal resources to address concern. So like it, concerning or threatening behavior before violence occurs, the official said, the official cited the Department of Homeland Security, Securities, if you see something, say something, campaign to help stop radicalized Islamic terror as a domestic possibility. And it's really not, you know, we, you know, it's really not about Islam, okay? Um, they see the men of the Lord standing on, the street corners in every major city, okay, prophesying, all right? It goes on and says, this involves creating context in which those who are family members or friends or co-workers know that there are pathways and avenues to raise concerns and seek help for those who they have perceived, perceived to be radicalized and potentially radicalizing towards violence. The official said by began his presidency with a stark warning in his inauguration speech about the rise of potential extremists, white supremacy, okay, domestic terrorism that we must confront, we will defeat. On June 1st, Biden described the threat from white supremacy as the most lethal threat to the homeland today. You see, and Biden, the Biden administration said it would also work with large technology companies. And they just had to throw that white supremacy in there, really. Uh, technology companies on increasing information, increased information sharing to help combat radicalization. OK, so all of your uh, all those who, who use social media to uh, uh, really just blab about all that you got, all that you're doing, all everywhere you've been, they're going to start compiling all of this information, okay? And they're going to get these companies like, uh, of course, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and, the, and the rest of them, okay, where they're going to be getting information and collecting inf They all got databases. OK, um, so let's go on here. And it says, um, 
quote, any particular tech companies often knows its own platform very well, the official noted, but the government sees things actually threats of violence across platforms. Okay, so that's telling you right there that they're watching all of these things. See this sentence right here? But the government sees things, see, they, I, which was probably a slip of the tongue, actually threats of violence across platforms. So they're watching those Facebook platforms and, 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 uh, and the like, okay? They see the relationship between online recruitment, radicalization, and violence in the physical world. The Department of Homeland Security also plans to deploy digital literacy and digital fitness programs to help combat malicious content online that bad actors deliberately try to disseminate. Okay, the official... Uh, reassured reporters that the administration's new strategy would remain laser focused on stopping violent acts. And uh, let's go down and finish it. Uh, it says, this is a strategy that is agnostic as the political ideology or off the spectrum, the official said. What matters is when individuals take their political or other grievances and turn that unacceptably, unlawfully into violent action. Okay, and those of us who preach, we haven't done anything to anybody. All we do is read the scriptures. Okay, but to some out there, it's violent to them. Okay, they feel threatened by the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh the Holy Bible, okay? And all this is really is, too, when you think about it, those that drive by, that walk by, they don't like what's coming out of the out of the scriptures, you know, you could see a phone call being made or something, pictures being taken, and them, you know, sending them to so-called authorities, you see? Okay? So it's just another device. Um, let's finish it out. The official added that the Biden administration was taking the threats of domestic terrorism seriously and would redirect the focus of intelligence agencies on internal threats. Quote, we are investing many agencies of the government and resources and resourcing them appropriately and asking for citizens to, to participate. The official said, because ultimately this is really about homeland security being a, a responsibility of each citizen of our country to help us achieve. So they basically want you, those out there, to just start squealing and telling on people, which is prophesied also in the scriptures. And we'll get a couple of scriptures here, but we know that this is nothing but another device. Um, Let's get to the first scripture and we just uh, get through them and we'll be done, okay? This is Jeremiah. And it says, prophecy against Edom. And you know who's running these programs. You know who runs this so-called government, right? Uh, we know who's in charge of the world at this particular point in time, okay? So this is Jeremiah 49, starting at verse 7. Concerning Enoch, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming, as counsel perish from the prudent. Is the wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If great gatherers come to thee, will they not leave some gleaning grapes? If these, if these by night, they will destroy till they've had enough, right? So now they <clears throat> control you, and now they want your own family and friends to turn you in, okay? They never get enough of, of, of having all the wealth, all the riches, you know, all the control, as they would, as they would think, coming from the left-hand side, Okay? Um, verse 10, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and 
he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahushai, Behold, so I hear. They was judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetually wasted. And that's this place. Bosber is 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 another name uh, through uh, through the spirit, you know, that this place where we 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 are, known as uh, Babylon the Great, known as uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay, it's known as Bosra. Okay, this place where we are today. Okay, and it's going to be utterly destroyed under what under Esau's watch. And they're still, you know, they're they're in control. They're coming up with all these different devices, okay? Let's go over to uh, Amos, and I'll just read this real quick. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And, and what you can see is that this is going to crack down on the brothers on the corner, right? All over the all over this nation. And eventually the Lord is going to pull us back and create that famine of the word. You know. Because in 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 you know using friends, so-called friends and family and co-workers as it stated. You know, people will, will do an anonymous tip and, and, and turn you in. Okay? So these are the times in which we're going to be living in. And I'm going to finish this up real quick. Okay, this is Matthew 10, starting at 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore Wise as serpents and harmless as doves, so like it harmless as doves, but beware of men. Okay? Beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the council, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors, okay, and kings for my sake. You see? And that's what's going to happen. That's going to create that famine of the word. Okay. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. And when they, deli and when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak, for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake so like if my name's sake but he that endureth unto the end shall be saved but when they persecute you in this city flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, ye shall not have done over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Okay? But particularly in looking in that, you know that the families are going to betray the men of the Lord. Okay? So, uh, we're looking at Satan. And another one of his evil devices. Okay. And in fact, let me see if we can get that. Uh, the, 
think it's 2 Corinthians. I can't remember exactly where. It's locked in. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, uh, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You see? And any type of policy, administrative policy, public policy, legislation of any kind, that's, that's a wicked device. Because it's not to bring anything good. And in particular to the, to the men of the Lord in this day and in this, in this hour where the men are out preaching and prophesying the downfall of this wicked place. Okay, and they're running out of time, so they're desperate now. And we'll get the last scripture, we'll be done. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you. And the devil means deceiver, having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You see? So they don't have much time left. And this Biden administration, you know, um, is no different than any other administration before it, okay? But as time has gone on, you know, things are beginning to ramp up. And so that's why we implore uh, the call of repentance to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? and all the speckled birds all across the planet, okay, to repent and come back to your power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because things are starting to get tight. You should be able to see it by now, okay? All right, so with that, I'm going to end the lesson right there. Lord willing, it was edifying. Give you something to think about, okay? As, and as always, uh, go back and read the scriptures, okay? And uh, start digging in, start start studying a little bit longer, a little bit harder, okay? So that, Lord willing, you know, we, we can make it out of here, okay? And make your calling and election sure, all right? With that, I'm going to end the lesson right there, and I'll just say shalom and see you on the next one.